I'm Jacob James, photographer, filmmaker and Lumix ambassador. When working in a production environment, you may wish to rig the camera up to allow the addition of extra accessories, such as external recorders. You may want to run XLR audio into the camera, or you may wish to use PL mount cinema lenses and a follow focus. In this video, I'll run through a few third-party accessories and why you might want to use them with the S1H. First off, I have one of these Manfrotto Universal camera cages which I'm going to start by attaching to the S1H. A camera cage is a great additional extra as it allows you to rig lots of uh, additional accessories via the quarter 20 and 3 8 inch connections on the cage. So first off, I'll attach the base plate. This base plate has a Manfrotto tripod plate built into it. So if we wanted to, we could go straight to the tripod. Next, I'll attach the, the upright arm. Do this simply slide it in and fasten it down with an Allen key. Lastly, I'll attach the top plate. Again, simply attach and tie it down with an Allen key. Once at the top, we can add the additional side handle, like so, to the 15mm rods. So here we already have a nice stable platform for shooting. Next, we might want to attach the XLR1 audio adapter. To do that, simply slide it into the hot shoe and lock down. For this setup, we're gonna run without the XLR1. The S1H also has an optional time code in and out. So for this shoot, because we're using a multicam setup, instead of recording audio into the camera, We've got a time code sync it with the external recorder. So all we do is we use the included optional uh, flash synchro port to BNC connection cable. We pop that in on the front, screw it down, and that gives us a standard BNC connector. We can then use that with a tool such as a tentacle, or we could run that straight into a time code generating audio device, or we could use the camera as the master. We simply connect that to the tentacle and we're running sync, time code sync straight into the camera. With the S1H, we also have the cable lock. So if we want to run external to, say, uh, an Atomos Ninja, we can screw this in to the top, pop in our HDMI, which is a full-size HDMI on the S1H, run it through the loop, and our cable is not going to pull out. So to get the, the Ninja onto the camera, we'll use a monitor mount, which will screw into the top of the cage. So this monitor mount has two locating pins to stop it rotating. We can then take the Ninja, attach it as so, and then we can run the HDMI cable straight in. The other thing we, we might want to do on this production is run with a cinema lens. So here we have the Schneider Xenon Cine lenses and we have an L mount to PL adapter. So using this adapter, simply place it onto the lens, lock it down, and we've now converted our cinema lens to L mount. To do that, we simply remove the Panasonic lens we have, take this one, and attach it straight down onto the S1H. And there you go. So to keep it nice and tidy, I'm just going to attach the tentacle to the back of the monitor. And then using a cable tidy, which I have somewhere in my pocket, I'm just going to tidy these cables up and out of the way. So we may want to use the standard 50 millimeter rods. They connect via the camera through the bottom of the base plate as so and simply fasten down using the screw on the side. Once locked down, we can add the follow focus, which again is designed for standard 15 millimeter rods. Simply slide it on, push it against the focus gear and lock it down. Now the good thing with using standard 15 millimeter rods and base plate is that we can go straight onto the tripod as it is. Simply drop it on, click, and lock it down. 
and we're ready to shoot. So this is the rigging option for the new Panasonic Lumix S1H. Panasonic.